So, you've come to hear my story. A fine tale, I grant you, but one from long ago. These are tumultuous times. In the 11th year of the Gaheng Emperor's rule, China is beset by rebellions and sabotage. But in a world of crisis, there is always opportunity. I was working on a flower boat when Zeng Yat found me. Whispers of my beauty, wit, and talent for intrigue had reached his ears, just as his renown as the greatest pirate lord of our time had reached mine. I accepted his proposal, in exchange for joint control of his fleet. Together, we unified the pirate gangs into one mighty force, each sailing under a different color flag. Nothing could stop us. Until... Zheng Yu was washed away. Without him, the old ways are no longer holding. Pirates have scrambled to make their claims, eager to displace his grieving widow. The leader of the Black Flag Fleet, a despicable scoundrel by the name of Gok Modai, feels particularly entitled. He claims to have served Zheng Yat longest. But I will not easily give up the reins of power. Everything has narrowed down to a single night, where only one of us will emerge victorious. If you really want to know my story, Come, let's see if we still have a knack for this. Zeng Yat's famous widow, throwing herself under the cover of darkness. <laughs> I wonder what you'd make of this, husband. Nearly there. <gasps> Strange things are known to lurk in these waters. Let's move quickly. Well then, up we go. Thank goodness. There's been no unwanted visitors in my absence. Jun Bozai. He was taken by Zheng Yak when he was just a boy of 15 and has served the fleet ever since. Drumbles, I... He was supposed to meet me here. Mistress. Over here.
No one knows the fleet better than Drumbullseye. Let's see if we can find him. Ah, Bullseye. Mistress Cheng, how go your preparations? Have you learned all you can of your adversary? If I may, there is a report in your cabin which may prove useful. Thank you, Bullseye. Mistress, one last thing before you go. I've stowed the key to your husband's... I mean, your cabin... in your inventory. Now, Kwok Bodai is fast approaching. Just ring the bell if ever you need my assistance. Hmm. Perhaps we should go up to the top deck and back down the other side. Perhaps we should go up to the top deck and back down the other side. Mm, such beautiful views. But we best head down to my cabin before anyone sees us. Sign of Majol's wrath. Who turned off these lights? These are offerings to Zheng Yat. Rest easy, husband. I assure you, our hard work will not be wasted. Fish prawn crab. A beloved pastime for all pirates. Except, of course, Guang Wadai. Far too common for his life. Zheng Yat was an avid collector of coins. Let's see if we can find any others.
teas of this type often reveal the most fruitful of secrets. There must be something in here we can use against Kokodai. Violence will not succeed. Kokodai is an adept warrior. Instead, intellect may prove a better weapon of choice. laws, or a part of it at least. If we are to succeed tonight, we must collect all three laws. To some, these will be worth more than any treasure. Keep them safe. Divided, mistress. Do they question the wisdom of a woman leading? Some do, though the white flag has pledged to us. As have blue, yellow, and green. I wonder how long their loyalty will hold. That leaves us with the black flag. And Kokpo Dai. The true thorn in our side. And what of the Imperial fleets? Hmm. There's been no sign of them. Not yet, perhaps. But the night is still young. Is there anything else I should know? Well, the prayer to Mato may be wise. Many fear the storm is a sign of her wrath. In short, we face quite the challenge. So let's get started. Come, we have much to do, for I have invited Gokpodai to tea. What was that? Quick, try the doors. Mr. Cheng, I must curtail your plans for this evening. Instead, to ensure the safety of you and your children, I thought it generous to offer you a place by my side in marriage. Gokpodai has played a foolish trick. One he will come to bitterly regret. <sighs> there must be another way out. Surely Gokwadai doesn't think I'm going to stay here while she becomes the new leader. That victory is mine. Zengya had this commissioned early in our courtship. He was always strangely sentimental. Hmm, and what have we here? What a well-hidden door. Hmm, I wonder where Zhang Yat hid the code.
my boy's cloth tiger. A clear sign saying Yat lives on in the air's eye for him. That's treason. It's the truth. Opalai is going to win. And where does that leave us? She's just a flower boat girl. How will she protect us? Sao Singha, you never know who's listening. <sighs> it's as we feared. Trying to sleep. But Quark's claim is strong. He served Chang Yat even longer than Chung Po. And what of Bosai himself? At least he cares for us. He's loyal to the mistress, as am I. But if Quark becomes the new fleet leader tomorrow. Mm, these planks look rather perilous. Best we don't linger. That fool is hung his hammock right. E Quite envious. of Gunyam, the goddess of mercy. We'll need more than mercy if Kwokbodai wins tonight. Since Gokwadai has chosen to play dirty, then so will I. A drop of poison should do the trick. Now, where did I leave that pufferfish extract? 
Oh, this vial of poison is empty. How incredibly inconvenient. No matter. The South China Sea holds a plethora of venomous creatures. Let's see what we can catch. We may be well stocked now, but in leaner times, we lived on rats and caterpillars. Thank goodness those days are behind us. Bird's nests, a delicacy said to keep a woman looking young. <laughs> and of course, what's a woman's worth, if not her age and beauty? Let's stay clear of the beetle nut. Its red stain has ruined many a friend's smile. represents one of the flavors. Spicy, sweet, and sour. A bitter earthen scent. A good pole tea. Why on earth did Cook leave this year? I swear, that man hides his keys even better than his whiskey. Locked. Of course it is. I swear, this ship is more secure than the Imperial... Pa the, Br the British call us the wasps of the sea. But we are far from being the most poisonous thing in these waters. See what might be lurking below us. A bite. Now, to bring it back up. Huh. Only small fry. We'll need to chop this into bait before something bigger will bite. Fishing for venomous sea creatures has always been a favorite pastime. I find it deeply therapeutic. Shrimp, most certainly a step up. ensuring all spoils are shared fairly. Mm, it would prove wise to stow this away for safekeeping. Spring has always been the perfect season for catching pufferfish. And there's nothing more deadly than its poison. A grouper. Mm, delicious. With soy sauce and herbs. But we're not here to make guapo that dinner.
Reef shark. The ocean smiles upon us. We should throw this back as a tribute to Mato. Still only small fry. We can do better. A sea bass. Now we're getting somewhere. Pufferfish. Wonderful. Let's extract its poison before it spoils. Perfect. Just one drop will do the trick. Now, let's find the quickest way to Gokmodai's ship. Night isn't getting any younger. We should move quickly. All this fog. I wonder if your spirit hides among it, husband. The truth is, I have no idea how you'd feel about me taking your place. Perhaps you'd even prefer Gokpodai. But this is more than... Wait, did you see that? Gokwadai's men are patrolling the water. We mustn't let them spot us. What was that sound? <laughs> are you seeing ghosts again? Stay alert. Don't let anyone pass. Or Brother Gokwadai have it in for me. How can this be? There are two more? must stay out of their lights. We should sneak past when they aren't facing a fine vessel, but nothing compared to our mighty Pong Fa. Do you think that widow's really going to try something? <laughs> Who knows what that one? Come now. We must move silently. We 
must keep a firm grip. Hmm. Noisemakers. We should avoid these. Hmm. That rope looks a little moldy. of silk in the last raid. Yi? You got to keep that? Some luck you've got. Hold on. I should find something to eat. I say, pray to Mother what doesn't. Bet you five, Leon, the boss wins tomorrow. TC. Who take that bet? All is quiet outside, Coco. Are you keeping an eye on the waters? Yes, Coco. The widow won't be our concern for much longer. If my arrangement holds. Arrangement? You're dismissed. Quickly now. That last window is his. Better inspect the deck myself. This night is too important to leave in the hands of lesser men. We shouldn't linger. Gok but I won't be gone for too much longer. I wonder what we can find out about this so-called arrangement. Inks and brushes made from pine soot and wolf hair. How gallant. Zhang Yat commissioned this for Guokwadai after his first raid. If only I knew then what was to come. A drawing? No. A map. Of the Pang Fat's position. Token from the governor. So that's who he's dealing with. Only 12,000 Spanish dollars. <laughs> How disappointing. never into snuff myself. Broken, it seems. It's rare for a pirate to be able to read and write. Rarer still to do so as beautifully as Guangwadai. A set of bowling balls. I guess even Guangwadai is prone to stress. For a man as neat as Gokpodai, it seems strange that these books are out of place. Gok 
Kokwara has always been an intellectual. I wonder what lies on those shelves. A key. But there's something off. Yeah, what is that? A pressure plate. Gokpodai, you scoundrel. Hmm. We must find something to replace the key. Move quickly. Huh. A hidden room. How clever. Good. That's it. We should keep this. It may come in useful. A teapot. The perfect vessel for poison. It's a shame, really. Gokpodai is both smart and fearless. If it weren't for his arrogance, we could have made great allies. And you've checked all the rooms? Hmm. He's starting to sound paranoid. The Pirate Council will be assembling soon. And only one of us will be crowned leader. A novel. Now, let's row back to our ship and leave Gokpodai to his tea. <laughs>